Hello class. Today we are going to start chapter 9 Life in the Desert. In this chapter you will study about life in a desert, Sahara the hot desert, Ladakh the cold desert. Life in a desert. The word desert is derived from a Latin word desertum which means something left waste. It refers to an arid region characterized by extremely high or low temperature and less vegetation cover. The hot deserts are mainly found in the western side of the continent. These are centralized in the subtropical areas of the world. The Sahara, the Thar, the Arabia etc. are the important hot deserts of the world. The cold deserts are found in high altitudes where mountains may act as climatic barriers. Ladakh and Gobi are the main cold deserts of the world. Sahara, the Hot desert. Hot and dry landscape covered with layers of sand having very scanty vegetation is known as hot desert. The Sahara is the world's largest and the hottest desert on the earth. The word Sahara in Arabic means desert. It covers almost the entire northern part of Africa. It covers an area of 8.54 million square kilometers. Its latitudinal extent is about 15 degree north to 30 degree north latitude. It lies between the Atlantic Ocean in the west and the Red Sea in the east, the Mediterranean Sea in the north and huge molds of sand dunes in the south. It is also bounded by a chain of mountains in the north called the Atlas Mountain. The only source of water in this desert is the Nile River. Sand dunes are quite common in this region. Map of Africa showing Sahara Desert. The Sahara is a region of hot and dry climate with clear sky. The average annual rainfall is less than 20 cm. In Sahara, it is very hot during the day, whereas the nights are cold. The day temperature is about 43 degrees Celsius and the temperature at night goes down about 10 degrees Celsius. The highest recorded temperature is about 58 degrees Celsius at Al Aziria in Libya in the northern part of the Sahara. As a result of high temperature and low rainfall, vegetation cover is scanty or almost nil. Except near the Nile River Valley, the Sahara is sparsely covered with various types of vegetation like grasses, shrubs and bushes. Plants have long roots that reach deep into the soil to absorb moisture. The important trees are cactus and date palm. Date is the most common fruit here. Both animals and people eat dates. The sap of date tree is used to make wine. The seeds of date fruit is crushed and used as fodder for the camels and goats. The leaves and the trunks are also used for making baskets, ropes and doors. This is the image of cactus. This is the image of palm tree. Some of the animal species found in the Sahara Desert are fox, jackal, sand fox and camel. The camel has two humps at the back to store enough fat with which it can live without food for several days. Numerous types of reptiles are found in Sahara. Example frogs, snakes, crocodiles, etc. Insects like scorpions and spiders also inhabit this desert. This is the image of an oasis and this is the image of an two-humped camel. The northwestern part of Sahara is known as rocky desert. Most of the land is barren and uninhabited. Density of population is low. Population is generally concentrated near the water bodies like oasis. Cultivation of crops is possible around the oasis. Major crops are wheat, maize, barley, millets, beans, etc. People prefer white and loose clothes to bear the heat. The Sahara Desert has about 2.5 million inhabitants. They are mostly found in Egyptian, Mauritanian, Moroccan and Algerian parts of the Sahara. The majority of people living in the desert are nomads. These people wander from place to place in search of food. People are divided into several groups or tribes. Bedouins, Berbers, Moor, Tareg, Tubu and Hausa are the most dominant ethnic groups of the Sahara. They use camel to cross the desert. Recent changes. The cultural landscape of the Sahara deserts newly evolved by the World Heritage Committee. This landscape shows the evidence of previous civilizations. Many prehistoric sites have been discovered in Sahara. It is playing an active role in transforming the desert landscape once again. Today, the camels are replaced by trucks. The nomadic tribes are also taking to new life. Thus, it can be said that Sahara Desert is undergoing changes on many fronts 
as oil, gas and other mineral deposits continue to be discovered. High buildings, super highways are also being constructed in the Sahara Desert. This is the image of Hemis Gompa and this is the image of Nomadic Tribe. Ladakh, the cold desert. Ladakh is derived from the word La and Dak. Here La means mountain pass and Dak means country. Thus Ladakh means a country of mountain passes. Ladakh is situated in the northeastern part of Jammu and Kashmir. It is a small region which is known as one of the coldest deserts in the world. Ladakh is surrounded by lofty and high mountain ranges. Its elevation is almost 3520 meter above the sea level. Ladakh region in Jammu and Kashmir. Its capital is Leh. It lies between the Karakoram range in the north and the Zaskar mountain in the south. Ladakh has several deep valleys and gorges. These valleys have several glaciers like Gangotri and Boltaro glaciers. Karakoram and Jozila are the important passes which lie in the Ladakh region. This is the image of Yak and this is the image of mountain goat. Ladakh is situated at a very high altitude and is covered with snow for many months. The temperature is very low for the most part of the year. The average annual rainfall is only 8 cm because it lies in the rain shadow area of the Himalayan ranges. Vegetation here is very scanty and is found only in valleys and sheltered areas. The plants which require very little water grow here. Willow trees which are mainly used for making cricket bats are found in this area. The common animals here are sheep, mountain, goat and yak. The soft wool of the mountain goat is used for making expensive pashmina shawls. The yak is one of the most important animals as it gives milk and is also used for transportation. It has a thick fur to protect itself from the extreme cold. The main river of Ladakh is Indus. Population is mainly concentrated near the river banks. A majority of people follow Buddhism. Do you know the name of Ladakh in local dialect is Khapachan? In earlier times, this region was accessible only through some passes like Karakoram Pass and Jojila Pass. But with the opening of Srinagar Leh Road, this area has been opened to the rest of the world. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people of Ladakh. About 85% of the total population is engaged in it. Low rainfall and poor soil, red soil permit the growth of only single crop in the short summer season. In the winter season, the land is covered with snow. The important crops are barley, millets and beans. People also grow fruits like apples, walnut and apricot. Horticulture is practiced here. Recent development. Tourism has become a major activity in this region. Ladakh is visited by a huge number of national and international tourists. Gompas, treks, meadows, glaciers, local festivals and ceremonies are the significant attractions for the tourists in Ladakh. Life in Ladakh region was tough. But nowadays it is undergoing changes due to modernization. The people of Ladakh have made best use of their natural resources through conservation techniques. They never misuse or overuse their resources. This is the image of Ladakhi man and women. Summing up, Gompas, rock cut Buddhist caves, horticulture, civilization, cultivation of fruits and vegetables in an orchid or garden. Khapachan, name of Ladakh in the local dialect. Al Azizia is the hottest place of the world. Arid and the alkaline soils are found in the Sahara Desert. Sahatush is a good quality wool found in Ladakh. Kuls, specially constructed water channels in Ladakh. Mulching, compost made of a mass of leaves spread on the ground for growing plants. People of Ladakh are mainly Buddhist and Muslims. Hemis is a Buddhist monastery. Thank you class. Let's meet in the next chapter.